Hello everyone, it's Laura here. I think I'm live, so we're good. Happy New Year's! Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I am like just waking up. I had a nap, but um, so it is currently in my part of the world, 3:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> And today, um, I just wanted to do participate in this New Year's Eve streamathon. It's it's hosted by Jean of um, the Musical Scrapper, and uh, we're we're going to be doing some encaustic wax painting today. So um, I have here a whole bunch of supplies that we're going to use um, that we'll need for the project. Um, but uh, yeah, oh my gosh, I so. All day yesterday, I was pretty much um, just, you know, I was doing a whole bunch of other things, but I was also watching all of these wonderful ladies, and um, you can see all of the past live streams. I'm the last one, unfortunately, so if you're catching me, you're at the tail end of this event. But you can, hold on, let me grab the link. All right, here it is. So if you did miss... If you did miss anything, you can go ahead and check out that link. All the ladies are listed in that blog post, and you can go and check their channels and watch back all the amazing things that have happened over this New Year's, um, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, depending on where you live. Um, so right now, I believe that we're ringing in the New Year um, in Alaska. Hawaii. Wait, let me check. Um, Happy New Year, Susan. Hi, Cat and Paste. <laughs> you know, I thought the same thing for a moment there, Cat and Paste. <laughs> uh, Hawaii um, and a couple of other ones. We've got the Marquesas Islands, Polynesia, Alaska, so if you're in that part of the world, then Happy New Year, and if not, then already Happy New Year, so I guess Happy New Year no matter what. And no, it's probably not a good idea, however, um, I've done this so many times already, so I'm not super worried about the safety, but this is not for children, number one. <laughs> My whole channel is for adults, but this, this in particular is not for people who have a tendency to hurt themselves or who are clumsy. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, just be careful if you're doing hot wax. Um, let's see. Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. We've got Able to Rejoice. She was on just before me. I was just checking to see if you were finished, and I saw you were. Um, we've got Debbie F., Sinwind, Osgrand. Joey, Judy, welcome everyone. Hi, Debbie Riddick and Debbie the Doodler. We've got a Debbie overload, which is awesome. All right, guys, I have been watching you all day. I am super intimidated. These ladies are so creative and inspiring. So um, just to jump right on and get started, I'm just going to show you guys some of the supplies that you'll need. Um, in the description below, you'll find an Amazon shopping list if you expand down and click the description open you'll see there's a link for an amazon shopping list you can find all the materials that i'm using in that shopping list but i just want to kind of run through because this is not something i see a whole lot so i just figured i would um explain the supplies involved so you need a substrate for this um <laughs> encaustic wax is one of those things that has a tendency to crack if it's on a flexible surface. So if you're using paper, I recommend a 140 pound watercolor paper. I'm using, today I'm using the Canson XL watercolor paper and I've just cut it down into small squares. These are three inch by three inch squares approximately. And um, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. Um, and the reason I cut them smaller is because they're less flexible. They're much more rigid and less likely to bend. Um, so that makes them really nice for, you know, doing this kind of thing. 
Um, another thing that works really well is wood, actually. Um, so I have here just a wood bit. I got this at Hobby Lobby in the, the wood pile craft, the section in the craft store. And then there's this cradled hardboard. Um, this is in the canvas aisle in Hobby Lobby. You can get them anywhere. Um, but I like to go to Hobby Lobby because I got a discount. So this was 50% off and then I got these when they were on sale as well. So try to get this stuff fairly, um, at a good price if you can, because I go through it a lot. Um, let's see who's here. This one. Hi, Amanda. Hello. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. And if I miss you in the chat, it's because I put the computer, might as well be on Mars. <laughs> it's all the way on the other side of my studio because, um, I don't have a whole lot of space on my desk. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have a substrate. Right now we're going to use the small paper, and I'll show you why in a moment. But um, we also have, I'm going to take you guys on a small ride. So if you get a little seasick or you don't like moving, cameras moving, just close your eyes for a minute. The reason why um, I can't sit you all in my entire camera view so right here we have a pancake griddle it's an electric pancake griddle it has a little uh heat setting which is right now set you see it doesn't have lower than 175 i don't know if you guys can see this with the light but um it's set at just below 200 which is the lowest setting and really the ideal setting for melting wax is 175 degrees Fahrenheit. I also have here a heat gun, which I've plugged in, but it's not been used yet. But you want to store it with the nozzly thing up. <laughs> then I've got my um, wax. This comes in both sticks and also in little, um, you, can, you can get little tins for them to put them on that's what you see some of my wax medium is heating up because I had to replenish it the wax medium itself and the slick wax I'll go through that more later when we're painting but these things come in refills so you don't have to go ahead and buy a new tin each time which is really nice so this is the wax medium that comes in pellets and the slick wax comes in a cake and um, they're for both cleaning your brush and also thinning out the medium and making it more transparent. And then I have my, my um, handlers. So I use clothespins to handle things on the plate. I also use this nice big set of heavy duty pliers to handle the, the printing plate. And this here is a hot plate printing plate. So this is an anodized aluminum plate. It actually conducts a heat very, very well and is perfect for printing on, which is what we're going to be doing first. So I'm going to reholster you. And now if you are not a fan of moving cameras, you can open your eyes. We're done moving. <laughs> um, okay. I'm just checking the chat really quick before we get started. Hi, Nana Mo. Welcome. Thank you all so much for being here. <laughs> okay. So what's really fun, let me just make sure that you guys can see this printing plate. So we're going to be pulling some mono prints first. This is so much fun. This is so relaxing and easy to do. And, um, it reminds me a lot of acrylic pours, or um, I was seeing earlier one of the ladies was doing um, acrylic ink, like airbrush wizardry, which was awesome to watch. So if you like that kind of thing, if you like doing, let me just adjust the camera a little bit. If you like doing abstract work and um, that's like real flowy and creative that way, um, then you're going to love this particular method. So on this plate, I'm going to use these sticks to um, 
to melt and then um, we're going to pull some mono prints. Now, um, if you're using something, if you're melting something other than encaustic wax, which is meant to be melted, you have to keep in mind that you want to use a well-ventilated area. So, people have suggested um, melting um, like Crayola crayons, things like that. You can do that. However, if you're going to do that, I recommend you do it near an open window, um, only because that kind of pigment and wax is not meant to be melted, so it does release toxic chemicals. I'm just trying to give all the safety warnings. So if there's anything on the hot plate, I know it's common sense, but I have to say it, do not touch it. <laughs> Use a, um, oh, that won't work because it's too heavy. Use a paper clip to manipulate and pick it up. So you pick it up this way. Um, if you're trying to pick up the printing plate, then you want to push it towards the edge and then lift it up like so. Okay, so you never, ever, ever, please do not touch this stuff directly. You're going to burn yourself. All right, so <laughs> the other thing I just have to say is um, when you are using the, um, the wax and your, um, you take any of the wax off of the hot plate, it's going to harden almost immediately. So you have to work quickly. Um, okay, so uh, without any further ado, um, I'll go over the brushes and this stuff a little bit later. I'm just letting these melt while we're um, chatting. Um, let's, let's start pulling some stuff and show you guys how this works. Um, hi, Gary. Welcome. Happy New Year. I got your Facebook message. Thank you. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to get going. These are um, what's called hot sticks. This is by the brand Encausticos, but you can use any encaustic wax you like. Um, I just love this brand because it is super pigmented. And um, I've had people ask, is this archival? Yes, it is. It's archival. Um Okay, and I'm using a wintertime palette here um, because it is New Year's Day. So this little tiny amount, in order to put some wax on there, I use, um, this is like a hair clip, like a metal hair clip. So all you got to do, dab on some color. There's no right or wrong here. You can put any colors you like. Let's see. I want to add some metallics to this. So how about some gold for New Year's? Oh my gosh, I love this color. How about, there's this other, so I got a whole bunch of metallics for this stream because I was like, let's put some sparkle on these for New Year's Day. And um, let's put a little brown just to kind of give more contrast. I like having some lights and some darks with these. Oh yeah, this is already starting to look so pretty. And then how about some more blue over here? Just kind of add. So the only thing you want to do is just make sure it'll cover the item that you're trying to print on. So here I'm trying to print on a 3x3 three three page. Usually by the end of this project, my entire plate is covered. Let's, uh, let's add some of this brown over here just to kind of mix things up a little bit. Okay. So let's just go for it. So what I do at this point is I just, I mean, what are you going to do? You just drop it in. So let's do it. Boop. And then you see how it's starting to soak through the paper here? That's when you know now if you move it around, it's going to give you a different effect. And then once it starts to curl up at the edge, I flip it over. Okay, so we only missed one little spot here, so I'm going to pick it up again and dip again. So there is double dipping allowed, unlike your chips at a party, you are allowed to double dip. 
So I hope that you guys can see this. It's already cool to the touch. So I've got some funny business over there. So I'm just going to dip again. These are so much fun. Oh my gosh. Yay. <laughs> Quiet but perfect. Oh, that's good, Nanamo. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Welcome. Hello, hello. And if you're new to my channel, I do all kinds of things. I am a coloring book illustrator, and I do a lot of coloring on my channel. But I also do <laughs> random art like this. Um, and I just love doing a whole variety of different art mediums. All right, so now what's great about this stuff is I don't have to clean this printing plate. As long as it's not burning on the plate, um, you can keep going and reuse the wax. So I'm going to kind of mix it up a little and see what happens here. And it always turns out different, even if you're using the same colors. So let's see. I'm going to kind of... Do like a diagonal bit of white there and let's use ooh there's some silver here let's try that and this is so relaxing so i was like oh i have to wake up at 3 30 a.m so let me do something real easy first and then we'll get into the painting bit so we're gonna we're gonna divide this stream up into two different sections we have the encaustic wax mono printing stuff which is what we're doing now and then we'll do some painting in a bit once I've kind of woken up a little bit so if anybody has any questions for me don't forget to put them in all caps in the chat that way I'm sure to see it or at least more likely to see it <laughs> Okay, this is starting to look really pretty, but let me add a little of one of my favorite colors. This cobalt aqua is just, ugh, oh, heaven to me. This is one of my favorite colors. Okay, maybe a little more white, because now we're kind of covering over, so let's throw some right there. All right, this is looking delicious. Let me try. All right, you ready? I don't know where I'm going to put it. I feel like this is the major art here. Can you guys see this okay? Is my light blowing it out? Let me see. Yeah, my light is like... There we go. It's a little bit better. Alright. Ready? I'm gonna swirl it a little. Let's have some fun with this. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It looks like, like a wave or something. I don't even know. Okay, let me just really quick get some of this contrast. The only thing I don't like about this is how little... So on this one edge here, I'm just going to kind of half... You see how I'm like bending the paper? There we go. Get a little darkness in there too. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, let's see. Hi, Heather. Welcome. Um, let's see. Happy New Year. Yeah, this is so much fun. I don't know if you guys can see if it's picking up on camera, but this metallic wax is so pretty. Oh, it's so metallic. There's so much pigment in this brand of wax. I've used a couple of other ones. There's the RNF brand and stuff. But um, Encausticos has such a high pigment load. Oh, taking a drink. Okay, let's keep going because this is a gorgeous mess here. So let's, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Let's add some more here. Oh, this silver. I could just swim in that silver. Let's add some white to it to kind of bring out more of the... And let's see, what 
out of her color. Let's add a little bit, just to add some more color contrast to this, let's add a little bit of this, like, like beigey yellow. I think it's like a Naples, like a light Naples yellow or something. Oh, now we're getting beachy. It's okay, though. We can do beach in the winter time. Let's do it. Let's commit to that. Oh my goodness. Alright, this is looking too pretty. I wanna I wanna pull this. Okay. How am I gonna I want it like like this, I think. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm gonna pull it now I'm gonna do it in you see how the wax is like getting sucked up into the paper? Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I love this so much. I don't know why. Okay, just pushing things around. Let's see what happens when you do that. Okay, that's really nothing actually. Let's do let's do some fun swirlies. That's better. Let's put some of this dark. Oh, there's just too much wax on the thing. So you see how it's starting to harden, but we have like this drip. Let's see, is it? Let's wait a second. I'm just going to let this dry and then do another mono print. Hold on. Pull another. Or not dry, but harden. <laughs> Whatever you call it. Let's see here. There we go. That's pretty. Get some more. I don't know why I like having some darks and lights and things, but let's, let's get some of this gorgeous blue here on the edge. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. So can you see that silver there? Oh, so shiny. Okay, so I want to add some more. Let's see. It's summer down under. Exactly. Like the beach in winter. Woohoo! Yeah, we're having so much fun. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Okay. So we'll let that dry. Let's see if I can straighten this out before it's totally dry. If you bend it while it's a little bit warm like it is, like it's warm but it's not hot to the touch, then it shouldn't crack. But once it's completely solid, it will have a hard time um, being manipulated like that. Let's put some more gold into this. If we're doing the beach in the, in the winter time, Let's put some gold, like the sand. Oh, yeah. And how about some this color? It's like a bronzy. Oh, this is, this is worth getting up for, guys, right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, if you're on the East Coast, I don't know why you're up, so go back to bed, because this is a crazy hour, but uh, honestly, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much, Jean, for having me in this uh, streamathon. So much fun. Okay. I need some white in the middle. There's just this little this little bit left so again I'm gonna just make sure not to touch that hot plate and let's let's do this let's pull this see where we're going with this here Whoa. I don't know if you guys can see it like sucks it up all right once it starts coming through you know that it's saturated the paper Oh, that's cool. Let's let's dip a little more into that. Yeah, I like that. And let's actually grab some more of that. There we go. Yeah, this is this is totally like the beach in winter. Oh, so much sparkle. All right. Okay. So I'm going to actually, there's so much on here, I'm going to actually pull it again. 
But let me just add a little bit more white right in this little bare spot there. Oh, that's so cool. That's like all sparkle. We've got so much sparkle going on here. Let me just uh, get a little, so you see it's already hardened. And you can of course paint over these if you'd like. I just really love double dipping because I'm nasty like that. No, just kidding. And if I'm weird on this stream, just be forewarned. I've only had like a couple hours of sleep. <laughs> I have no pro That's kind of cute, almost like a frame. I don't know. Anyway, I like that. We'll leave that as it is. Just sort of bend this back into shape. <laughs> Let's see what the chat says. <laughs> All right, Nina Mo. Yeah, Susan, I had like about three hours of sleep, so we're good. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I think I love this one. So mysterious. Okay, um, let's put some more. You see, I add a lot of white to this just because of the, the, the theme here of winter. Adding a bunch of silver, and let's put some more of this really beautiful anthro, what is it called? Anthrocoinoin or something? Blue? Mm hmm and Some brown too, because you know, there's lots of browns in wintertime. Let's throw some gold in there just for the heck of it. Because we can. Alright. I'm going to try a dragging and dropping method. This is not on your computer. It's not drag and drop mouse style. This is drag and drop encaustic wax style. Ooh. Alright, I like that. Now, it's kind of like it didn't absorb a whole lot right there. So I think what I'm going to do is, again, double dip. Let me just wait for this to cool for a second. Can you guys see the, the golds and stuff happening in there? Oh my goodness. And there's so much texture that happens so easily with this medium. Alright, again, I want some contrast, so I'm going to pull on the darks. Yes. Oh yeah, I love that. So pretty. Oh my gosh, it's like all sparkle. Let me take a drink of water. <laughs> oh, I'm getting so excited though. I don't think I normally do this color palette, but I don't know why. This almost look, looks like a mountain or something or... I don't know. I see so many things in these. Okay. Let's keep going. I have all these little squares, so I'm just going to start. Um, let's see what time we've got. Oh, actually, I should, I should switch over to painting. So let me just uh, pull what's left on here just because I don't like wasting it. So I'm not going to add any new stuff. Let's just see what we can get out of this. Come on, let me take you off. He liked that. Oh, that's cool. Let me just uh, fill in that. Okay, hold on. That white spot. 
There we go. Ooh, I love this. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if you like these little mono prints and you want one, you want to stick around to the end and I'll do a giveaway, I think. I think that would be fantastic. Okay. Um, let's see, where do we want to, we're just sucking up the rest of this here, so these might be tossways, but let's see what we can get out of a, a very limited amount of, whoa, that's kind of cool. All right, so how am I going to get that? Let's see, I'll dip it. I kind of love the way this is going on, so I'm going to actually dip it. I know it sounds crazy. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can get this spot. Let's see, I might have just ruined it. Oh. Well, that's not what I was hoping for, but no, it didn't ruin it. You never know what you're going to get here. Okay. I can go with that. Might not be a giveaway one. Here, I'll put it to the side. But that's a nice foundation for a little mini painting or something later. Let's try and use up a little bit more of this and then we'll get going on the painting portion of this stream. Let's see here. running out of wax on the plate so at this point now we're, we're probably not going to get much on this let's see I'm not expecting much oh that is cool though what the heck how did that happen all right I kind of actually like the bare paper there I do want to add something to the bottom here so let's see here I want to grab this dark stuff here. Let's do that. It's like it's made for it. Right there. Ooh. Cool. You guys see that? Can you see it? Let me see if I can really quick bend this. This is risky business here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't think that's going to be one I give away either, but... Okay, so now we have this hot plate thing. Let me grab... Uh, so... If you're not going to just turn off the hot plate and let it cool and pull it off that way then um, I'm what I do is I'm gonna clean it off and then I'm gonna dump it into this it's like an old cast iron skillet so first let's move this is the slick wax I'm just gonna move this off of the palette while I clean so you see how I'm maneuvering it with the uh, clothespin. You do not want to touch that directly. Where can I put this bad boy? Oh, right here. Okay, and then here's the wax medium as well. These are just, have just been chilling out on the hot plate while we've been painting to get them nice and warmed up. Okay, so how I use uh, what I use to clean it up? Just a plain old paper towel. I'm going to use a clothespin as needed. Just make sure to fold over the paper towel quite a few times so that there's some layers of paper between you and the hot surface. Um, I will check chat in a moment. I'm really sorry, guys. It's kind of hard to like pay attention to the chat while I'm doing this. 
Okay, and I just fold over and fold over until I've used up the paper towel as much as I can. Oh my gosh, are you guys excited for 2020? I am so excited. I feel like it's a new decade. New cool stuff is going to happen. I don't know. I'm really like 2019 was a tough year for me and I am so excited to get it over with. <laughs> it's going to be all different this year. Now, if I just don't forget to I know already I'm going to be doing the 201 and then crossing that out and then writing 2. So Oh, we've got some wax that crept out on underneath our plate. Totally okay. So now this is where I use these big pliers. Okay. So with my left hand, I'm going to... Oh, the, the wax that's under it. Okay, so I have this really secure. I'm holding it as tight as I can. You see that there's wax on the other side? So really quick before it hardens. Let's see if I can just kind of take most of that off. That's fine if we leave a little on there. Okay, there's going to be a loud sound for happening. Just close your ears if it bothers you. Okay, yeah. I predicted that one. So that was me dumping it in that hot plate. I just woke up Abby and probably the entire neighborhood. You're welcome. Happy New Year, guys. Okay, so, <laughs> so let's just clean this all up and then we can get going on the painting portion. Uh, okay, I'll check chat in a moment. Okay, so we have, I'm going to use the same color palette here for the painting bits. Let's see what the chat's saying. Hi guys, hi Mia. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Blue Petal. Happy New Year, guys. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hi, Kelly. Who else is here? Hi, Preppy Crafty Girl. <laughs> you guys, if you want to share your Instagrams or um, if you have a channel, please feel free. There's a lot of new people in my chat and a bunch of new subscribers, so welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah. So I'm not sure about these two. These were like the last two pulls. So I'm going to consider them to be painting fodder for another project. Um, but all of these, I think, are pretty nice. So we're going to do a giveaway, and I'll just pick my top three and send them on off to some lucky winner. Okay, but we'll do that later. Let's keep going. Um on the painting bit. So I'm going to now move the wax that we moved off back on to the palette. So it's already starting to harden. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just really quick. So these are just, this is the wax medium. This is the thing that extends the paint and makes it more transparent. And then we've got the Oh, no, wait, this is the wax medium, I'm sorry. And this is the slick wax. So the slick wax is something that we use to clean our brushes. It's a combination of paraffin and synthetic waxes. It's a unique blend to encausticos. Okay. And then I'm going to be using the hot sticks for the most part, but I may put a few colors in these tins if I feel like it. I love having the whole surface as a palette to work with. So um, for the most part I love using these hot sticks. Now let me cover brushes since we didn't do that before. The type of brushes that you'll need are goat hair brushes. These are natural hair goat bristles. Um, you can use other natural hair bristles, like boar bristles, but I find that anything other than goat hair tends to burn. So if you're shopping for brushes, think of it this way. You want stubborn 
goat hair bristles. <laughs> you want them to be able to withstand the heat. Um, these are already been used, so they've been filled with wax, and they are stiff, which is kind of nice when you go to store them. There's no chance of them getting damaged because they're stiff with the wax. Once you use a brush as a wax brush, it never goes back. So um, this one's a little funky, but you'll see once I heat it up, it'll go back to being very pliable. Um, these are called hockey brushes. And, um, yeah, they're really great for this technique. Um, I found, found that these work the best. I'm not going to use the gigantic ones, so we're going to put that one back. But I'll probably use both of these. Another brush you can use, this is, um, this is a new brush for me. This is like a Chinese calligraphy brush or something. But it said pure natural goat hair. So you see it's super soft when you first get it. We're going to totally get rid of that softness, like, right away. But, yeah, I thought having a finer detail brush might be kind of nice. I've only had this size as my smallest size, so I got this special for you guys. Um, all of these are in that Amazon shopping list. Just FYI, I'm required to say, if you do buy something from that shopping list, a small portion of your sale goes to me. However, it doesn't cost you anything extra. I just get a little kick back if you use um, that link. Um, oh good Mia, I'm glad you're here too. <laughs> Still burning in the sink? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello Loretta. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to see if if I missed anybody in the chat, I think. Excellent. All right, Blue Petal, I don't think I'm following you, but I will correct that after the stream is over. Taking a drink. I'm so excited, guys. Okay. So I have a couple substrates here. We have this plain wood panel, which I like okay. You can definitely paint on this. Um, but I'm going to grab this larger one. Let me make sure it's in camera. This is just that cradled hardwood. So it's already gessoed for us. Super nice. Um, it doesn't have to be gessoed. But I find that working on a white surface brings out the colors of the paint a whole lot easier but you can you can use any kind of surface you want um, the only thing again I'd like to say is it has to be rigid um, it can't be something that's super flexible the um, the wax will crack over time I've had that happen and it's devastating um, <laughs> so yeah okay so I don't really have a plan other than I was going to, I'm going to do a winter landscape. So when I think winter landscape, I think pine trees, I think snow. Um, so that's kind of where I'm going with this, but I really don't have any plan. So let's see here. And this is where we're going to use our heat gun as well. You'll see in a little bit, I'll probably need to use that. Um, okay. Abby is being so good. She knows she's not allowed up on my desk. She's right behind my chair. My little cutie. If you guys aren't aware, normally in my live streams, Abby is all over my desk. But she knows she's not allowed up here. So, okay, I'm just trying to think of where I want to get started. I usually start on the sky first, so I think that's where I should do, what I should do here. Let me, now that I'm sitting down and not being so messy, let's see if I can actually bring the computer a little closer to me. So that hopefully, actually I'll grab this too. Uh, hopefully I will be able to read the chat a little easier. Um, let me grab, let's see here. Move these out of the way. 
I can do this. Come here, Mr. Laptop. You're coming up on the ride there. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. Yeah, I love her too. She is such a sweetheart. <gasps> oh my god. That was weird. My TV just had another episode of haunting. shocked me. Maybe that was my downstairs neighbor neighbors just casting to my Chromecast? I have no idea. That was... Whoa. I don't know if you guys heard that, but my TV just magically came alive. Um, I'm just going to turn it off. Oh my goodness, that scared me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm up early or late, depending on how you want to think of it. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, what I love about this particular hot plate it is it has these little handles. So I'm just going to rest my brush to warm up the ends here, and while we try and decide. Our colors. I don't need to do it to this guy because he hasn't been used yet. So we'll just put it there for now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I'll start with the sky. This is kind of a little dirty, isn't it? You're dirty. Okay, sorry guys. I'm I'm sassy at this hour. You put me on three hours of sleep. This is what's happening. Okay, I'm gonna so I'm gonna start with the sky, I think. So I'm using um, cerulean blue, or no, this is cobalt, cobalt blue, and I'm gonna throw in a little bit of ultramarine blue. Mix it together right on the palette there. And wait for my brush to melt. Yes, you heard it right. Waiting for the brush to melt. And so I just sort of flip it over, rock it back and forth. Press down gently. You don't want to press too hard. Okay, my palette, really quick, is actually wobbly a little bit. This is a really old hot plate, so let me just, there we go, that should do it. I can't stand that. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, you did hear it. Oh my gosh. Oh, you've never seen anybody do this. Oh, well, I did it once before on my channel. It was so much fun. Um, and I used to do this all the time, but I kind of put them away and haven't been using them for like, I don't know, t nine years. But Hey, I'm picking them back up again, so you see, like, keeping them all that time, it's not hoarding, guys. If you're going to use the supplies at some point, I would have kicked myself if I had thrown all this stuff away. Alright, so I don't know if you can tell, but this brush is getting pliable and soft. I think we're ready to dig in. Here, let me just put this down. Um, hi, Sammy. Morning. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> you, you didn't have to wake up. <laughs> I don't know how people, um, how, how other people are here. I expected like, like two people in the crowd. So I'm just kind of shocked when I look over and there's like 30 people here. What are you guys doing? Okay. That's all right. You're welcome. You're welcome to stay. But if you want to go to sleep, I'm not going to blame you. Um, all right, let me just uh, let that warm up while I use my big brush, my big dude. Okay, we're going to snag this color 
it is okay so after it comes off the hot plate it is going to immediately start to see how quick that stops being pliable so you got to really smack it on there okay I need some more I'm gonna grab some wax medium to just extend this yeah I'm just dipping a dirty brush right in the wax medium if that bothers you you can clean off your brush I don't worry about it because I'm this is so dirty guys this is such a fun, messy medium. So the texture builds almost automatically. You don't really have to do anything and it's already getting really lots of brush strokes and thick paint. Okay. So what's great about this particular brand, it's so pigmented that you can extend it a whole lot and get so much color out of it. I don't know if you guys can see the difference here. It's transparent, so it's picking up some of the white underneath. So this is also good for collaging. If you have something you want to um, work into the wax, that's also a really fun way to work with this medium. Okay, I'm going to just throw some more medium. There's The medium also comes in those hot sticks. And I'm going to also throw some white into that mix. Now pull a whole lot more medium. Yes. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so... I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I have nothing in my head as far as how I want this to turn out. But that's kind of fun sometimes to just, like, have no expectations. Okay. So, I, f when I'm first starting out, I like the background layer to be a little bit more flat and less textured. I don't know if you guys can see this, but let me just, um, let me clean up the palette really quick. So that this doesn't start burning. So you don't want the wax to burn on the hot plate because it's it uh it starts to smoke and it's you know it's not good. So I like to just clean it up, keep it clean, keep it tidy. I mean, as far as you can keep a messy thing like this tidy. I'll check the chat in just a moment. Sorry guys again. Let me just. Uh, this mess up. So you, you do, do go through quite a few paper towels in this process. There's really not much you can do to avoid that. However, the wax is a natural um, material. So I don't feel too bad about it. Okay. Um. That's better. Okay, so in order, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is so much texture. So much texture. Let me see if I can kind of, uh, I don't know if that helped or hurt it, but there's just so much texture. Brush strokes, like it's so thick, the paint on here. So now I'm going to be, I'm going to just swap these over to the other side. Uh, now I'm going to be using my heat gun. So I don't do this every time, but in order to level this out and make it less textured, you can use a heat gun. Let me just make sure I've got plenty of cord slack. All right, so I'm just using a really cheap Wagner heat gun. I got this for like 25 bucks at the Home Depot. Um, so I'm just going to put it on the lowest setting. And you want to use small circular motions while you're doing this. You don't want to burn the wax or heat it up too quick.
so you can see as it heats up it gets shiny and it self levels and then as it cools and hardens it gets a little bit more matte and it retains its shape okay so i'm fairly happy with how that looks now we have some so if you overheat the wax it tends to create a hole we can do a couple <clears throat> excuse me we can do a couple things to fix that however i'm just going to leave it for now and um, we'll see what we can do about it you can well actually let's let's see what we can do actually let's let's try fixing it because last time i did not fix it so in order to clean off your brush really what you want to do is just get any of the excess wax out first so you see here it's, it was filled with this green paint so now that it's nice and soft and pliable, you see I just, I'm just absorbing any of that excess paint. Squeaky. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Hi, CB. Hi, Connie. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Let's see who else is here. Michelle. Welcome, guys. Happy New Year. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, hello, blue. Exactly, Heather. You guys know I love my blue. I had to have it somewhere. Okay. So first I get out any excess pigment from the brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and dip it in this slick wax. It's like magic. I don't know what they put in this stuff. I wish I knew the formula because then I would just make it myself, but it like, oh my gosh, it cleans the brush so well. I know it's paraffin. I know some of it is paraffin. So the, um, mm. the wax medium and the the, um, the wax that you're using is a blend of beeswax and Damar resin, and I've made my own wax medium. It's kind of a pain to make because the Damar resin is really, the Damar resin is basically like sap. So it's kind of a pain in the butt to make. So that's why I get it in those little pellets now. It just makes it so much easier. But I have no idea what synthetic waxes they put in this slick wax to make it work so well. I don't know if you guys can see there's hardly any pigment left in this brush. And once I do this a couple of times, right, sop up any remaining wax. Let's just not burn my hands, shall we? It really works so well. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's pretty much clean. Amazing. So that's how you clean a brush properly. I like to get all of that up off of the, oh yeah, squeaky clean. I like to get up all of that up off the hot plate because the paraffin does heat at a lower temperature. So it will burn a little easier. Um. <laughs> oh, Michelle, I'm so sorry though that you can't sleep that well. Um, I could have probably slept all the way through my entire stream if I wanted to, but I set like 15 alarms. I was like, I am not missing my own stream. So, okay, so this is cool to the touch already. That's how quickly that it sets and there's still a whole lot of texture here so i'm going to grab my heat gun again and let's see if we can fix this these little holes that we have going on so i'm just going to heat up that section and gently try 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, while I'm heating with the heat gun, try to drop, drop some more wax medium. Sometimes this works well and sometimes it doesn't. I admit I'm not the best at it. But it looks like we're repairing that spot. Okay. This doesn't bother me as much. I don't know why. But let's see if I can just add a little bit more. So if you make a mistake, there's a whole lot of ways that you can go about reworking it. Okay, I think that will work for me. Um, we'll see, I might add some more. All right, let me clean this up a little bit because we're getting a little bit of steaminess happening here. little bit of that paraffin was left on the hot plate. So I'm just going to find it and get it off. Alright, that's better. Okay, I'm not as worried about cleaning that off completely because it is blue. The whole palette's going to be blue, I think, and white and some other colors, so I'm not as fussed about that. Okay, good. Okay. So, um... <laughs> Let's see. Uh, if you have any questions for me in the chat, don't be afraid to put it in all caps. That way I can catch it easier. Um, <laughs> okay, so we have these blobs here. I'm not sure if I like the extra texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in again with my wax medium. You guys must think, okay, Laura, you're doing overkill on this here. But let's just see how quick and easy this wax texture builds. I have a piece of paper down on my desk to prevent splatters. It will happen. So don't uh, work directly on your working surface, definitely protect it. I have a, a cheap poster board that works great. Just to catch any drips. There we go. Much better. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that, so we'll leave it there. The one thing I've learned about this medium is once you like something, you gotta just let it go. Let it alone. Okay. Let's throw some more wax medium in because now we have, well actually I can use up the rest of that first and get the, the blue out of there, so let's do that. Hold on. Let's put some down here. And right here. Looks like we're going to start actually working on our landscape now with that, so let's put, let's put some white down on the this isn't, this is white, it just has some other colors mixed into it, no big deal. So let's grab some of that. And now we're just going to kind of wing it. I don't know what I'm doing, guys, so... Okay. 
that are noticeably mountains in the background, something. I don't know. I'm just going with it. And I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but there is so much texture just happening naturally. It's, uh, there's so many, I don't know if you guys can see it, so many different brush strokes. So much fun. Oh my gosh. Maybe let's create like a, a more jaggy, pointy mountain back there. And now I'm going to put some more white down and make that a little snow capped. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can handle that. So it's like super duper textured right there. Let's see here. Um, Squishy, good morning. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Happy New Year. We're doing some more doodling. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. But that's the fun of this, though. Like, you can't really get a super realistic looking... Well, I guess you could if you're, like, s super amazing at it. But I, at least I haven't gotten a super realistic encaustic wax painting. But I have found that... For landscapes in particular, I think it's really fun. Um, let's just clean this up here. The hot plate just turned itself on. What's great about a pancake griddle is it does regulate the temperature itself, so it turns on and off automatically as you need it to. Sort of like an electric griddle surface. Okay. All right, what are we doing for the middle ground? Let's put some more of this wax medium down, maybe some hills. So I'm gonna just use more curved strokes like that. Let me just, uh, there it is, grab my I'm trying to get all the paint out of this thing before I put more in. Okay, so now I need some more wax medium. So I'm going to throw it in there. I'll show you guys what that looks like, the refills for it. Let me just really quick take this up off the... Okay, you're such a good girl, Abby. Such a good girl. Where's my wax medium? Where did it go? Oh, it's over there. Of course. So I'll just show you guys this stuff while we're while we're doing this. Um, so this is how these refills come. This is the slick wax, which is the cleaning medium, and it comes in cakes like this. You just drop it in. I don't use a whole lot of that. I only clean clean the brush when I'm changing colors really dramatically. But this is the wax medium. I use this a lot, and it comes in pellets, so you can really control how much you put in and use. I'm going to clean out this blue. 
out of my um, little tin here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ball this up, hold the little tin with my paper clip, I mean clothespin rather, and just dab and absorb any excess paint that's in the bottom there. Kind of want to start with some clean, clean wax medium. Okay, getting there. Let me just uh, do this one more time, I think, and then we should have a fairly clean, I mean, I'm not going to get this perfectly cleaned off, obviously, but this is the way, people have asked me how I clean my tins, this is the way that I think is the easiest to do it, although I'm sure there's a better way that I just haven't thought of, but... getting there. Just trying to find some clean little edges. So you see I just kind of okay that's much much better. It's not perfect but I'm gonna have a whole lot less blue in my wax medium than before. For this purpose I have several empty tins and I generally tend to kind of um, have different wax medium tins for different palettes so uh, I'm not super worried about leaving some of the blue in so this is how it comes it comes in like little pellets I don't know if you guys can see this hold on let me uh let me switch to my camera view so I can see better yeah so it comes in like these little pellets here I'm gonna drop this clump right in there and we're just gonna let this melt It'll take a little while to melt, which is fine. Which is why I like to have a bunch of it melting as we go. Oops, so see I got some on the hot plate. We're going to use that. No big. Right here, you see that? We'll just use that once it starts melting. I don't know why I like these little pellets so much. So this is a lot handier than trying to make your own wax medium out of Damar resin. I'll show you what Damar resin looks like. I do have some. So what you need to make this is beeswax and Damar resin. And hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. So Damar Resin is a tree sap, natural hardened tree sap, and that's what this bag looks like, and it comes in really hard, like, like almost like crystals, like it, it almost feels like, it looks like amber kind of. Anyway, this stuff is really sticky once you start melting it goopy it's hard to mix together so that's why I just prefer using the wax medium pre-mixed um, but I do know people oh no no come here the kitty cat wants to investigate hi come here get, come here no not allowed up there okay um, <laughs> sorry guys just wrangling the kitty cat so um, yeah you don't want to uh, mix it unless you're um, willing to, to really kind of wrangle that stickiness. Um, I, I just don't really enjoy it, so I don't do it. Um, okay, so I have my brush back to warming up. And... Hey. You good girl? You're not going to go up there, okay? Abby just decided she wanted to investigate, which is kind of weird for her. I mean, not weird normally, but she knows she's not allowed up with the hot plate. Okay, so I, and now I'm I'm doing this one armed with a kitty. Um, <laughs> poor tree. Um, the tree sap. 
it comes, it actually oozes out of the trees. So it's it's sort of like, you know, maple syrup, how they, they drill a hole. It doesn't harm the tree. Well, I guess that would be debated, but um, what they do is they drill a hole and then it oozes out of the tree as far as I as far as I know, it doesn't actually kill the tree, so that's good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not like they're chopping down the tree to get the sap, so that's good. Okay, so let's put, see, we've already, this is going to take a little while to melt, but it's already starting to kind of get liquidy. So I can dip into that already. So I think we're pretty much ready to start painting again. Um, let's see. What will I be doing for New Year's Day? Probably sleeping. I took the day off. So I'll probably be sleeping. And um, I actually am probably going to work on my New Year's Day paint. Uh, coloring page. I can show you guys that in just a little bit. So now I'm just using the white. Abby, stay with me. Stay with me, cutie. Yeah, you're not going to go up there. No, no, no. Abby is so curious all of a sudden. Yeah, it's just wax, Ab. But you want to smell it? Here. Don't, don't touch it. There we go. Just a tip for you cat owners. If you let them smell it, usually their, their, their curiosity is satisfied and they're not as interested anymore, which is precisely what happened just now. You just want to sniff it. Okay, so I just threw some white on over that blue. Um, she knows you're not usually up at this time. Yeah, I'm not usually up at this time. I guess that's what she's, why she's curious. I don't know. Um. <laughs> okay, so we have some faraway mountains and some hilly bits. So I think in the foreground, I'm going to throw, first I'm going to throw down some wax medium mixed in with some blue and this white just to kind of use up what we already have going here Whoop. this is tricky one-handed okay yeah you sweetheart hi So that's nice. Okay, I'm going to clean up my palette again. Happy girl. And now I kind of want to mix in some kind of beiges and browns into that foreground. So right now I'm just working on the the um the sky and the ground and then we're gonna put some stuff on top of it. So maybe like there's some color peeking through the snow maybe. Now let's then put some snow. Oh, this is so much fun. So the wax medium does make it more transparent, so you're seeing some of the blue through that. And let's go ahead clean that off just a little bit. I don't need it perfectly clean, but just absorb the excess. Um, welcome back, Sammy. All right, 
until he's all taken care of. That's good. Poor little Tilly. Alright, Abs. I can't work with you on my arm like this. Can you can you sit behind me, baby? Can I put you behind me? I don't know if you guys can hear her. not all right well we'll see we'll see what abby's up to she's like why are you not why are you up at this hour so i'm just throwing down some white and let's put some white over this Okay, so we have kind of an idea of where we're going with this. Now I want to add some trees. The trees will create depth and distance. I've never done trees before, so like not like this. So I think I'm going to try and use this tiny little brush. Let's see how this works out. So I just dipped it in wax medium to get it. We're getting the brush used to the wax. So I'm just sort of conditioning the bristles with the wax. Yeah, that's going to be, I think, really nice. Um, and now let's use... I've got some greens here. So I've got the earth green... And this is Thalo. Oh, that's the wrong color. Okay, well, that's all right. We can mix the Thalo green. And let's mix in some gold now to cancel out that blue that we put down. Let's see what color this makes. Yeah, that's fine. So in the distance, I'm going to... Add a little bit of white to that, so that way it's a little less saturated. And let's let's start some. Oh, this is fun. This brush is excellent. So some little pine trees. Before I didn't have this fine tip. Where are you going, Ab? Alright, a happy little tree. Let's put in a little bit of darkness at the bottom here. Like so. Let's put in another tree. Let's put in, actually couple more. A little bit closer to us. So I start in the background and I work my way towards the foreground. Um, <laughs> I don't see any questions in the chat. I'm sorry if I'm not responding as much as I normally do. This is not an activity I normally do. So I am a little bit preoccupied. If you have anything you want to tell, talk to me about, just go ahead and put it in all caps. And I'll try to not ignore you. <laughs> okay. So, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. So I'm going to put a little bit of white down. Let's put some snow. Oh, that's mixing. Oh, there we go. All 
I'm just like randomly dabbing. Doot doot. Okay. Since I have this lighter color on my brush right now, I'm going to utilize it. Let's put another little tree back here. Little tree. Hello, little tree. Let's put another little tree. They're so cute. Okay, so let me just clean off my brush a little bit. And I have an idea here. I want to kind of, I want to create some kind of like, like, a, oh here, let me just fix the tip of this tree. Um, I, I want to create some sort of definition in this landscape. Because right now it's like, all kind of like the same. Let's see what I can do here. Uh... Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Jean. <laughs> Welcome. And anybody I missed in the chat, I'm sorry about that. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay. So let's use some of this really quick. So I'm just sort of dabbing. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I got this brush. I've never been able to paint detail. Not that you can get really amazing detail with this uh, medium is kind of tricky. Or at least I have not figured out a way to do a small level of detail. But... It's not always the point. Sometimes it's the impression, the overall feeling that you get from it that's important. So let's go ahead and do <laughs> thinking about either like a path or a river. This is blue. Let's do a river then. Shall we? So let's see. I think I like the river. Maybe this is like starts. Starts over here, maybe. It kind of like winds its way. Through. The landscape. A heavy girl. Are you mad at me? She's like, you're never up this early. What are you doing? cat. What's going on, cutes? Hi. You just don't want to be ignored? I get that. So I really have no idea what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sammy, 
Um, Squishy taught me um, a bunch of words. Why are all of them escaping me now? Maybe because it's like, what time is it? Oh, it's five in the morning. Oh my gosh, how did the time go so quick? Oh my gosh, I need to keep, I need to get a move on. Um, what did, what words, um, did she, she taught me a bunch of them. And now I'm, um, let me think on that, Sammy. Let me think. What? I'm feeling put on the spot. Uh, brain is not working. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to get some caffeine in me. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Feeds. And welcome. I don't think I've seen like half the people here. Um Oh, thanks, guys. All right. So, let's put in some um I want to add some light textures. So, I'm going to add some white into this river. Just to kind of give it some more. Something, something. Uh, what did I, what words did I learn? Okay, and on the bank here, let's just create some snowy detail. Just to kind of like break up that really hard line. Happy cat. What are you doing? Sorry, I gotta talk to her, guys, because, you know, you know how kitties are. So curious. Alright. Not looking so harsh and weird. Okay, I had a little bit more weight. Um, what words did I learn? I learned... I don't know. Apparently nothing. She taught me some, but my brain isn't working this early in the morning. Come back to me when I've slept, Sammy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only a couple hours of sleep is not good for your memory. There we go. Starting to look more like a river and less like a big gigantic gash. Um, oh, baffies. Those are, um, aren't they, uh, slippers? Okay, if you give me the word, I might remember it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Waffles or panties? <laughs> maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh, we're doing a uh, Scottish stuff in the chat. This is so, so cute. Oh, I got it right! Yay! Hi, Kitty. What are you doing? You want to play with the wax? I'm sorry, but no. Mm -mm. Okay, so <laughs> let's add... I want some vertical movement to cut through that sky because it's too much blue. So before we do that, though, i, I got to think about how I want to approach that. Let's put a little bit more color in the river. So I'm using the cobalt blue now. 
and just sort of adding in some brighter colors. So I start with the wax, um, I start with the dark color and then I add in the light color over top and it just creates such a cool effect. The light color just goes on the ridges. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So let me really quickly, I'm going to go check and see if Abby's food dish is empty. I think that might be why she's squawking at me. So if you guys can just hang on. I know that we only have a half hour left, so I'm going to have to stop soon, but um, Jean did say I could go over my time because I'm the last one, so I might end up doing that. Okay, come here. What are you, what are you doing? What are you squawking at? Some bug food in there. Right here. Right here. Right here. Some bug food. Is that what you want? Oh. That's so good. Okay. Oh, and while I'm up, <laughs> this is that New Year's page I was um, doing before, so I thought I'd just show you. I did work on it some more. Oh, the light is really, there we go, kind of blowing it out. So um, I did work more on the background, but it's not even near finished. So I might work on this later today. Somebody asked me, I think it was Susan asked me what I'd be doing. I did take the day off of work, so maybe I'll try and finish that for um, New Year's and post it on Instagram. So if you guys don't know me, I am uh, Laura Colors 2 on Instagram as well. That's my coloring account. You can find a link to my art account as well through that profile description. Okay, I'm going to grab actually some more paper towels really soon. Right, she just wanted food and she forgot she had food in her food bowl. Mm -hmm. Abby's getting old, so she forgets things too. <laughs> My cat is uh, 18, so she's um, an elderly kitty at this point. <laughs> Thank you guys. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't want to know what you're talking about a rolling pin for a squishy, which is, I don't know. Okay, we're good. Um, I'm going to heat up my other brush now, and I'm thinking about, what am I going to do here? Maybe like a tree, like, maybe we're going to get rid of this little baby tree here. Maybe like a fork right there, like a big evergreen tree that cuts through the canvas. And then maybe a smaller one over on this side to kind of frame it in and kind of make the eye move around. I'm thinking that. We'll see what actually happens. Um, hey, Abby. All right, while I'm waiting for this stuff to warm up, let's do a giveaway. Since I have some mods in the chat, you guys ready to herd some cats? We've got a giveaway for the mono prints that we pulled earlier. So I think this one will definitely be one that I give away. I love this one, so I'll give that one away. And I think this one. So those three will be the ones. The other ones are okay, but they're not as cool. So let's do that. Right on. So these three are going to be our giveaways. Let me grab a post-it note. If you are interested in snagging one of these, I'm going to throw it in an envelope and send it to you. So it's a worldwide giveaway. Um, yeah, okay, we're ready. Uh, <laughs> Happy New Year! Woohoo! Um, <laughs> Alright, Squish. Um, yeah, herding cats. Okay, so, uh, here, I'll just move this out of the way for a second. So we have three, three mono prints that we pulled. 
So I will sign the back of these and send it to you in the mail. So the we're going to do just one, this is how the giveaway is going to work this time. We're just going to do one number drawing. We only have 40, whoa, we have 40 people. That is way more people than I thought would be showing up here. What are you all doing up so late? Do you all drink it? This is a rowdy crew. Okay, so <laughs> this is what we're going to do. We have three mono prints. So the one closest to, I'm going to label these just so that we know. So the one closest to the number that's called by random.org will get a choice, the first choice. So I'm just going to label these number one, number two, and number three. Okay, so the, those are the, um, the, I'm just numbering them to make it easier for you guys. So we're going to do one random.org number. It's between 1 and 100. Um, you put in your number in the chat after I say go, and we'll wait for a minute or two, and then I will say stop. Um, and then once we've got our number, um, we're going to pick the three closest people without going over. Those three people, the first closest gets to pick any one of these, and then the second closest and the third closest and so forth. So just so that you guys can see a little bit better, let me turn on autofocus and see if I can get a clear view of these for you. So this one has like some bronziness and it's got all these swirls of blue and white. This one's got a lot of silver and a little tiny touch of bronze and then it's got this drip effect which is kind of cool. And then this one has the vibrant gold and it's just uh yeah it's that. I don't know how to explain that one but it's this one's the most vibrant. So there's the there's the selection there, and uh, we're going to start. Yep. So three people in one drawing. So we're going to do one number chosen, and um, yeah. So we're going to. Hi, Elizabeth. Okay. So. Yeah, when I say stop, then no numbers will be counted after that. You want to wait until I say go. And please, no chatting during this process, just that makes it easier for our mods. Um, I'm going to wait until both um, Susie and Sammy have confirmed a number, and I'll check as well, so we have three people to verify. Okay, so... Go! <laughs> Alright, this is so much fun. Let's see, are these warm yet? No, not quite. Getting there. Um, <laughs> Happy New Year, guys! <laughs> and Squishy, apparently, the old Lang Syne song that we all play all the time on New Year's is a Scottish song, which I did not know until tonight, and Mark and I were Googling, so that's cool. <laughs> oh, all the people come out and chat now. We've got Shelly, Loretta, we've got Jean, Helly, Amanda, Nancy, hello, welcome. I haven't seen a bunch of you here. Michelle, Rejoice, Mia, Katrina, <laughs> Steve, Sinwin, Elizabeth, <laughs> Connie, thank you all so much for coming. Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> All right, I'm going to wait another minute. So it's 5.15 a.m. my time. So we'll do the drawing, and then we'll go back and finish up our, um, our little landscape here. <laughs> so much fun. All right, we've got Susan in there. Thank you all so much for coming. This is so much fun having you. And so worth waking up at 3.30 in the morning 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> Don't worry, guys. I'll go back to sleep after this is over. <laughs> right, Abby? I'll go back to bed. <laughs> All right, looks like it's slowed down. So I'm gonna say, get in your last number, cause we're gonna say stop soon. So if you've been procrastinating, there we go, Cat and Pace has got one in there. Nice job. Any other numbers before we say stop? <laughs> oh man, you guys are great. Okay. All right, ready and stop. Okay, now I actually have to, ooh, excuse me, <laughs> throwing my phone around. Getoutrandom.org, I should have been doing that. Boop, boop, boom. Okay. Hello, phone. There we go, random dot org. All right, so <laughs> thank you guys. All right, so between one and 100, let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. Not too shabby. All right, ready? Boop. 33. So the closest to 33 without going over. And let's see who that is. Yeah, you can put them in your art journals. You can, you can, oh, look, Shelly got it right on the nose. So Shelly, I think you get the first pick. Let me just, uh, I'm going to write down Shelly Cross. Um, then we have, who's next? I think it might be Mia. Let's see, 33. Then it looks like Mia and then Amanda. Let me just double check that. <laughs> yeah, Shelly definitely won. Um, Susan and Michelle. Let me just check here. Michelle, Michelle. Michelle is 36, so she went over. I'm looking at Shelly, then Mia, and then Amanda is what it looks like to me. Can I get a confirmation on that? I think that's right. Susan, 35. Yeah. <laughs> Squishy, you're tired too. <laughs> you don't suck, you're fine. It is way early in the morning. We <laughs> we're herding cats with sleep deprivation, so that's tricky. <laughs> um <laughs> Mia and Amanda. That's what I'm looking at too, Sammy. Oh, Susan. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, I'm just waiting for, for our Viking friend, Miss Sarcastic here, to, to come <laughs> confirm. Uh, but I think it is Shelly, then Mia, and then Amanda. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. <laughs> yep, me and Amanda. Perfect. Okay, so Shelly, which one would you like? One, two, or three? Let us know in the chat which one you want. Perfect. Thank you, Sammy and Susie. I could not have done this without you, ladies. <laughs> You got it, Mia. Hold on, you get to pick in just a moment. We're looking for Shelly. Shelly Carlson. Pick your pick your favorite. <laughs> you don't suck at this, Susie. You're fine. It's not there's no formal thing about here. <laughs> <laughs> three, number three. This is Shelly's. Okay, Shelly Carlson. So I'm just going to put this right on the back so I don't mix them up. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mia, your pick. One or two. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. And I just have to say thank you so much, guys, for being here. This is so much fun to have you all. <laughs> yeah. You do rock, Susie. See? Mia says it too. <laughs> Susie. Number one for Mia, Mia Bear. All right, Mia. And then, so Amanda, you're going to get number two. All right, guys, that's awesome. So you want to email me there your your address. Don't worry, I won't give it out to anybody or do anything else with it. Let me just put these somewhere safe so that way they don't get damaged. No damaging the goods now. Okay. All right, so the giveaway is done. Let's see how much time we have left. Of course, I have like seven minutes. What can I pull off in seven minutes? We might go over a little bit. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for, <laughs> for joining in. Um, yeah, I love sending those little mono prints. So let's see here. What are we gonna do? We, we're definitely gonna do a tree. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking, well, look, these are nice and pliable now. That was plenty of time to get them warmed up. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, it's been so fun. And I'm going to go and watch back the ladies who I missed when I was sleeping. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'll probably watch them back as I am coloring my New Year's Eve coloring or New Year's Day coloring page. Okay. <laughs> I have to stop procrastinating. I have to make a decision here. This is going to be super dramatic, so I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to put some of this really dark green down. I love this green. I'm also going to put some of this other green down. And then how about some of this green? We're just going to make a green. And then I'm going to put a little brown in because pine green is not super bright. Okay, let's mix that up and see what happens. Okay, I want it a little darker. So let me just add a little more of this right in there. And more brown. Maybe some of this brown. Oh yeah. 
it's like a red so it's canceling out all that brightness with the green let's see what that looks like yeah that's the color I'm after Woohoo! all right guys here comes the moment of truth So I'm using a bigger brush here because it's a bigger tree. Okay, so these downward strokes are definitely what we need here. Let's put in a little more dark. It's dark blue, dark green. As we move down, it's going to darken up. Oh yeah, this is definitely a lot better. Breaking up all that sky. Making it. Yeah, so I got rid of that little tree back there. Sorry, little tree. You're just behind the other tree. You're still there. We still love you. You're just not as visible now. <laughs> put any some even more dark color and then we're going to snow top this but hold on let's put in some more dark blue maybe some brown let's just make a really nice dark color this is a big big mammoth tree he's He's the king of this forest, that's for sure. Alright. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Jean! Thank you so much for all your hard work doing this event. It has been so much fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love doing streamathons. This is the first time doing one with you ladies, and you are all so sweet and fun and funny. So it has been quite a blast. Okay. I'm just kind of adding in some color variation there. Definitely doing. Ooh, getting messy. Because, you know, that's what I'm good at. Get real messy. Okay. <laughs> Please don't judge me. It's five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay. Oh, go ahead and judge. It's fine. I can take it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have our massive tree. Let's put another tree in here and just while we're at it. We've got all this green going, so let's just use it. So I'm going to add a little more color to our mess. Because, you know, why not? Um, let's put some of this in. This chromium oxide green is really nice and opaque, so it goes over what's already there really well. So that's why I added in. And I'm not adding any wax medium in because I don't want it to be super transparent. Okay, we've got a lot of texture on this side of the canvas though, so I'm going to have to work it in. I said canvas, but this is not canvas. You know what I mean. Okay, I will add a little bit of wax medium just to get this move in. So we're going to have to build even more texture on top of the texture. So this guy, he's still fairly big, but he's a little further back, so I'm making it smaller. So 
So the trick is just to angle those ooh, angle those strokes downward and just kind of dab dab or pull pull down. Oh, this is so much fun guys. Okay, I'm glad I put the trees in. I think they do help quite a lot. They're not the nicest trees I ever painted, but we're, uh, we're doing what we can here. Okay. Okay, I think that should do it. So let's get this off of the palette. Um, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, a whole day of entertainment, right, Shelly? Oh my gosh. Jean has worked so hard. Um, she's been corresponding with us and getting all of our information about our stuff. And putting together that schedule was super helpful. So yeah, definitely a great event. So fun to do this with you guys. And I had so much fun. I attended almost every stream, even if I was just lurking while I was doing other stuff. So the only ones I missed were the ones where I was sleeping. And I'm going to catch those. I'm going to watch them back. So, all right. Let me, let me get the paint out of this thing. Because now we got to use white. We're going to cover those trees with snow. They are going to be, well... Should I use this brush or should I use the small brush? Maybe, well, let's just get this green out. These, the um, phthalo green is really staining. So I like to kind of get it out of my brush if I can. The other green is fine, but the phthalo, that stuff seems to like never go away. But man, is it vibrant and pretty. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so you can see any other brush right now would be burning, but this this uh, goat hair is just amazing. I don't know how it takes all this heat, but it does. So if you ever need to go to Venus for whatever reason, wear a goat's goat hair coat, and maybe you won't fry over there. I mean, no promises. I, I can't tell you, but... Um, <laughs> oh, your feet are freezing. Sorry, Squishy. Go ahead, grab some socks. Man, nothing worse than cold feet. And I'm not talking about wedding style. Well, that too. That's not fun. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can get more of this pigment out before I dip it in that slick wax. So you see cleanup is mostly comprised of just paper towels and absorbing that pigment off of the brush. This pigment could last forever, I tell ya. Mm -hmm. Something about it. So super saturated too. These these uh, wax sticks are Pretty incredible. There we go. Hey, it's starting to look transparent. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Getting all that out of there. I'm just kind of dabbing my brush down. Okay. I'm much happier with leaving the brush like this. If I'm going to, um, if I'm going to um, let the brush harden, I try and get a lot of the really staining pigments out. Just the, the, not that it matters that the bristles are stained, but, um, I don't know, just, just a habit. These brushes have lasted me for, like, 
I don't know. I did this for three or four years before I stopped painting with encaustics. Okay, so I'm going to leave the brush just like that. It will harden that way and retain its shape. Um, yeah, I've been using these. So it was three solid years of wax painting. I did it a lot. And then I put it away because I had a collector that was ordering them. I filled it, a lady's entire house with encaustic wax paintings. It's pretty, pretty cool actually. It was like a museum of encaustic wax art. Um, and then um, when she stopped ordering them, I kind of like, the f it fizzled out a little bit for me. But they, they've lasted for over 10 years. Um, I was doing this in 2000 and six and seven I think so lasted a long long time okay so now we have our other little brush it's only got a little bit of blue in there that's fine I'm not fussed okay not fussed about that let's put some white down and where's my little metal thingy majiggy I put that. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, what did I say? Everybody's LOLing. I don't know what I said, but yeah. Oops, my bad. Um. Oh no, Michelle. Aww. Sorry to hear that, guys. I have like this little bit of white left. Let me just make sure the palette is clean around it. Oh yeah. I have some more white, but let's try and use up what we have. So let's, uh, let me dip a little bit of wax medium. And let's just start kind of painting. Some details, some snowy details. So I'm going to start at the back here. Okay. So much fun. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so the wax is super melty right now, so I'm adding some snow. This is just flicking, tapping the brush, and the hot wax is going everywhere. That's why I put a, a piece of paper down. <laughs> Let's get this side of the canvas. All right, I'll add some more later. Um, oh, the goat Venus thing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know why not okay we'll just let that whole piece melt now let's start painting so this is where that contrast comes into play So I'm focusing on the ends and just creating some form and shape with this. Oh no, I'm over my time. Oh, I'm so glad I was the last one. I'm not not having to hand it off so I'm good. I'm gonna just go until I'm done. I think it shouldn't be too much longer. Okay. 
Okay, and now I'm gonna do some more spatters over that. Just for fun, you know. Because it's so much fun to flick hot wax around. Do not try this unless you're pretty experienced. You can burn yourself if you aren't controlled. You see, I'm keeping my hands far away, but I'm still getting some, some flicks. Now, I'm not burning myself, so it's going to be okay, but just be careful. Okay, let's do this big guy here. And actually, let me do really quick. I'm going to do a little bit back here and just kind of help this guy out. Do you guys like it? Yeah, the trees really add a lot. So much fun. And this snow. Oh my gosh, I love this brush, guys. Okay, so I did already put that this brush in my Amazon shopping list. So if you're interested in purchasing it, it is already there. I have to say, I'm really impressed with how long it's holding the heat. I'm able to use, it's not, see now it's starting to, I like that look though too, but now it's starting to dry. But it, the goat hair holds the heat for quite a long time. The boar bristles, while they, they're heat resistant, not heat, uh, that they will burn, but they're not as bad as some other brushes. Um, the goat hair, man. So impressive. Okay, so if you guys like this kind of thing, I can do more on my channel with the encaustic wax just to show. I haven't done a whole lot of collage in my life, but I could definitely show the techniques for how to do that. Um, I can't promise you it will be any good, but you can give it a good try. Okay, I'm going to use up the rest of this to... Add some more spatter. Oh my goodness, so much fun. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of detail work right here along the banks here. I kind of want to build up that color a little more. So what's great about this stuff is you can't get super duper fussy. It's so textured and kind of hard to control. So it's sort of like watercolor, you kind of got to let go of it a little and just let it do its thing. It's going to do what it wants anyway. So. Okay, I'm not going to fuss too much more. 
put a little more interest here in this background. Mountains. Does anybody have any questions before we go? So happy to answer any questions anybody has. Just throw them in all caps in the chat. All right, let's put I'm at the risk of overworking it, so I think I should stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rosemary. <laughs> yeah, we loved having you back, Sammy. Please come back soon. We know you got to take care of yourself and Tilly, so do that. But when you, when you're ready, come back, and we'll be here for you for sure. All right, so I'm just going to clean up my canvas, or my, I'm sorry, my palette, rather. Why am I saying canvas? It is way too early slash late slash something. Okay, so to remove, what I'm going to do is I'm, oh, squeaky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the, the um, pancake griddle off, and I'm going to unplug it, and then once these harden up, I'll just remove them from the hot plate. Um, no need to worry about picking them up. Um, if you want to, you can do that, but I'm just gonna turn it off and let it all cool and then handle it at that point. Um, thank you so much for watching, Sammy. Oh. Yay! Thank you so much for having me, Jean. This was a pleasure, and watching everybody else's work was so much fun. The chats were hilarious. I don't know if you guys caught the other videos, but if you haven't, um, you want to go ahead and go to Jean's blog and check out all the other channels, subscribe to them, um, check out their stuff, read the live chats because they were, I was giggling the whole day. They were hilarious. You guys are so much fun to hang out with. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, I need to go to sleep. But <laughs> thank you so much, Michelle. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see too well. Let me see if I can, uh, let's see if I can autofocus this. So, the texture is just crazy how quickly it builds. I'll take some photos and put it on my Instagram, my art Instagram account, but it is like so super, here, hold on. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to show it, but it's really, really textured. So, so much fun to do. And, um, really quick. It's quick. It has to be quick because it, it, uh, that's just the nature of the medium. So, yeah. All right. I don't think anybody has any questions. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah, and if you liked this one, I do have another encaustic wax painting. I did a similar format where I pulled some monoprints and then I did a, um, a summertime thing. I'll grab that before we go, just to put it in there for you guys. Um, do, do, do. Where did I put that? It's in my lunches before. Here it is. Boop. So if you guys want to see another video with this, then you can check out another one right there. Um, yay, Rosemary! Yeah, I'm looking forward to I have so many exciting things planned for this new year. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, all the 
the great things that are going to come in 2020 and the next decade, guys. Next decade. All right. Well, if, if nobody else has any questions, um, I'm just going to go back to bed. But um, if you do have questions and I miss them in the chat, please feel free to comment below. Um, don't forget to like. And if you liked this kind of thing and you like art and coloring and all kinds of fun, relaxing adult activities, and I'm not talking about um, adult activities, <laughs> I'm talking about art activities for adults, then um, I do encourage you to subscribe. I promise I don't bite. Um, not even this early in the morning. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you all sleep well. I hope you, nobody has a hangover tomorrow if you've been drinking. And um, yeah, to a new year. Thank you all so much. Thank you to my mods for cat wrangling. Um, thank you all. All right, have a great night and a happy new year. Bye.